Are you prepared to hear a shocking story? You should get ready to learn the reality regarding Social Security, which is causing shockwaves to travel across the Capitol Hill area. The story is one that you just cannot afford to overlook. Prepare yourself for an enlightening journey into the core of the most pressing debate in the United States of America. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. I am Alai, your host. And I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? Now that we have that out of the way, all right, let's get down to the meat of the issue. We are discussing the economic stimulus checks that serve as the backbone of our economy. You have to understand that the government is there to lend a helping hand whenever the economy is in a state of decline, when businesses are having difficulty, and when families are experiencing financial hardship. And wow, do they get the job done? Let us now dissect it in more detail. Imagine this. You finally get the check that you've been waiting very long for in your account. What are the initial steps that you take? You visit your preferred stores, purchase the necessities, and perhaps even give yourself a little something extra as a means of rewarding yourself. And what do you think? To put it another way, the government wants you to act in this manner. They want that money to move circulate and breathe new life into our economy by the injection of that money. Nevertheless, it is not just about us guys. At this point, we are talking about the domino effect, sometimes known as the ripple effect. You see, when we spend money, businesses are able to flourish. They keep the wheels of commerce going by stocking up on products, hiring additional staff and maintaining the business. Exactly like that, my dear friends, is how you get an economy off the ground. The kicker, however, is as follows. Timing is quite important. Those telltale signs. Those economic indicators that show it is time to take action are something that we need to keep a close watch out for. Every single piece of the puzzle is important from the data on employment to the rates of inflation. And when the circumstances are just right, when the stars are in the correct place, then as Wenjik takes place, now that we've covered everything, let's take a break and speak about the people who have made significant contributions to our social security system. Retirees, people with impairments, veterans, and other individuals are going to be discussed our nation's most important resource. Those individuals who have served our country with pride and dignity are the ones who have put in the effort and put in the labor. What else is there to say? The moment has come for them to receive the accolades that they are due. Imagine that you wake up to a world in which your anxieties about money vanish and in which the promise of a secure future is not merely a dream, but rather a reality. To put it simply, folks, that fantasy might very well be on the cusp of becoming a wonderful reality. Imagine an idea that is so innovative that it has the potential to completely transform the lives of millions of people, anticipated to spread like wildfire across the entire country. Brace yourselves for the moment of truth that will leave you speechless immediately. By the year 2034, the clock is ticking, and it is possible that the payments provided by Social Security will be reduced to a measly 77% of what is owed. There is no denying the harshness of the situation, and we want a strategy as soon as possible.
This strategy, which is based on previous achievements, calls for action from both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, much like the initiative that was championed by President Reagan and Tip O'Neill in the 1980 cess. To ensure the continued existence of Social Security, it is high time that we follow their example and make the difficult decisions that are required. As a senator reflected on his own personal experience, he underscored the critically important function that the program plays by sharing a heartbreaking story about his loss and his need on Social Security. For many people, it is a lifeline, and it is necessary to make sacrifices in order to guarantee its longevity. Nevertheless, let us not lose sight of the greater picture. A growing number of retirees are being supported by a number of fewer workers as a result of demographic shifts. Without implementing substantial reforms as quickly as possible, this situation is a formula for disaster. Where do we stand with the game plan? Now is the moment for honest conversation and genuine solutions. Collaboration amongst members of both parties is what we need, not finger-pointing or hasty remedies. We are President Biden. Are you paying attention? Let us come together, just as we did during the time of Simpson Bowles and the Gang of Six, and plot a route that will lead to a future for Social Security that is both sustainable and economically viable. To fast forward to the present day, the Biden camp has taken use of a 22-second footage in order to give the impression that Trump is all about cutting Social Security. Are you being sneaky? Let us not forget, however, that politicians on both sides of the issue engage in similar games. On the other hand, here's the kicker. Biden himself has, in the past, considered the possibility of reducing the benefits that are provided by Social Security. Exactly, you did hear that correctly. He has been discussing the possibility of increasing the age at which one can retire and reducing benefits ever since the year 1987. And what do you think? In the same vein, he has not exactly kept his word and fulfilled his commitments. At this point, let's discuss immigration, which is a contentious issue. Biden caused a commotion by referring to a suspect as an illegal.